pretty here. Up on the hill, you can see all the houses in brick color and all the churches. We are right now in historic center of Cusco, Plaza del Amas. It's pretty, always so many people and always full of people selling you stuff like restaurant, massage, tours and stuff. I'm staying in the hostel just a little bit outside of the historic center of Cusco, just right there. Somewhere around like a 10 to 15 minutes walk, a little bit outside is pretty nice. Walking around you can see like all the local selling fruits and all drinks on the street. Street food like this also, it's nice. I like it. Cusco is also the first place that I've tried alpaca meat for the very first time. The moment of truth. My first bite of alpaca meat. I'm excited. This is yummy. I don't see them different. And they actually make it super salty. Maybe it's just you with veggies. Really? Like tender steak. Really? Mm-hmm. Thick flank steak. Ooh, that good? Oh, yeah. You gonna order yourself some? <laughs> If you don't know what alpaca look like, it look like this. By the way, this is also alpaca wool. Got it from a shop, like a fair trade shop in Oyantay Tambo, one of the sacred valley here in Cusco. Sorry, it feels like I'm, I'm tired all the time walking because the altitude and everything just make you feel tired all the time, like literally. It's actually a thing here to eat alpaca. Alpaca, alpaca, alpaca everywhere. Almost every single tourist restaurant. Gonna say it's tourist restaurant because just the other day I was asking my host where to go eat alpaca or where local eat and then she was like, local don't really eat alpaca. <laughs> they eat beef and other things but not really like alpaca. Alpaca is more like touristy thing. By the way, today I'm not alone. I'm gonna be oh my God. <laughs> vlogging with Gee, I met him at the hostel. We never, he said just like, his feet always on my head. Oh no, 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 right? Head, head, head to head. <laughs> like eating alpaca, at first it's kind of really excited. I've never tried. I don't know what it's gonna taste like and stuff. But after like all the alpaca journey, like barbecue, all the burger and steak I've been having, oh. it's gonna be your first time, huh? Yeah, my first time. <laughs> Just been here for almost like how long? Uh, 20 days now. 20 days and never had alpaca at all, even though they serve it everywhere. He yeah. even told me like, I've I never seen alpaca <laughs> here. Right the minute he said that, I told him, look at the sign. We're gonna go have some alpaca today. Probably like alpaca steak, alpaca whatever, I'm not so sure, but it's gonna be a restaurant that the hostel owner that we're staying at recommend. The place called Nuna Drami. <laughs> Nuna Rami, yes. So let's go. Walking into a restaurant. Really miss the vibes like this. Gracias. I just chose the thing on the menu called alpaca and el ocupacha. It has these two spicy signs, so I hope it's gonna be so spicy. I've tried alpaca before many times. Never. Never. Now, let's talk about why are we eating alpaca and why do people eat alpaca? People eat alpaca because it's delicious. You ready? Yeah. Like, they claim that alpaca is kind of like sweeter than beef. Most of the time it's like red meat, lean, not much of the fat, so it's low in fat, low in cholesterol, high in protein and iron. My favorite meat. Where? Where? This is No, chicha morada. Chicha morada. Chicha morada. I always forgot it's now. We just got chicha morada. It has become 
one of my most favorite drink ever in Peru. You know what it's made of? No. Okay. No, I don't know. So. Twenty days here. One month here. <laughs> I One always, month ago. <laughs> I was to say the cheapest the restaurant here, so yeah. Purple corn, apple juice, pineapple juice, and a little bit of like canela, cinnamon. So try. try. Mm. Good, no? Yeah, good. Taste. I like it. Mm. The panca. <laughs> okay, we have a courtesy the restaurant. It's the cooking wine cone, marinating the Creole salad, the spicy sauce, salt, pepper. In the decoration, the block is sweet chocolate. Wow, yeah? yes. Okay, good appetit. I think it's pretty like interesting. I've never seen. Usually in the restaurant, they're gonna give just roasted corn or deep fried corn, like cornets. Now, one really interesting thing is that this is the, the black thing that they used to decorate as a chocolate. Where, huh? What do you think? Sweet chocolate. Thing. One more. Una mas. It's chocolate, but, but it's nice. You can't but, really no. taste it so much. You throw the Amazonas Yango. It's very spicy. Ah, it's Peruano? Yeah, it's Peruano. Okay. Peruano Gracias. chili. Yeah? Oh, we got it. Gracias. Okay. Spicy sauce. But it's not that big on it. Not that hot, spicy. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What's in there? Egg. There That's the raw yes. egg right there. Yes. Alabaca. Uh -huh. Nice. Beefy, huh? Yeah. What do you think? Is it like beef or is it different? It's a little bit like beef, yes. But most of it, like just this. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <gasps> Look at mine. Alpaca sirloin marinated in the alpaca mante herbs, accompanied by yellow and red panca chilies. Also, over mashed potato topped with vegetable in a pisco and paprika. This looks so nice! Like last time I had it, I think I was in Aguas Calientes when we went to Machu Picchu. Real baby alpaca with the wine sauce and a little bit of mashed potato right here. This is different. This is so far the most tender. And then now, again, looks so nice. Smells so good too! So soy. It's so emotional. <laughs> I'm just gonna ruin it right now. Should I? Ah, ah, ah. Ruin it. Ruining it. <laughs> What's the First, ah, give the honor to G. Me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All the back up. All the back up. <laughs> Mmm, miss it. Sauce. Ah. Okay. <sighs> Smells so good. Smells like a little bit smoky and peppery and... I didn't ask if it's like medium or medium rare. They didn't ask me so I didn't tell them but it seems like it's medium... Medium well. Mmm. Actually, maybe I can tell the difference. Look at this. You have to look at the meat here. The pinky meat, how cute. Let's talk price. This one I'm having right here, 46 solis. $15, yes. Mm -hmm. That's so good. And the one that G is having right now, the soup, 25 solis. <laughs> There's noodles and alpacas and eggs and the potatoes. So much things inside. Yes, yeah. it's, it's really nice. Love it. Not much of a taste, really, but I think it's really like warming. Nice. Oh, look at that! I love the pink and the meat so much. Really. Love them, be friends with them, eat them. Uh, 
Look at that. Delicious, healthy, and also just because it's the alpaca itself. Have you had me there? Just, just alpaca, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's already cool in itself by eating like the meat itself, you know? Like, no need to yeah. think of anymore. <laughs> just, yeah, just yeah. alpaca. It doesn't look so big of a plate, but actually I'm so full right now and I didn't even finish the potato, so... Again? <laughs> it's just so good. This is like so refreshing and also it's really good for health. It's like all everything packed in there. Potato, no not potato. Corn, like corn, pineapple, apple juice and lime. So much vitamin. Mm. We also just get the, this one again, I had one before already. Candy, it's candy. And the flavor, chicha morada, just like the same that we just had here. So. That. Nice. Mm -hmm. mm. We done for Nuna Raimi. Right? It was, it was such a nice meal. Good service also. Oh my god. I was starting to get like really tired again because it's good school here. Now we need to see movie now, so. Mm -hmm. There. In Peru, in general, like if other part that is not Cusco, you can actually find it in like a little bit higher class restaurant. But in Cusco, literally you can find it in almost single restaurant, but not like the local one where you go for like, um, like menu de dia. If you go menu de dia, like a menu of a day, five dollars, six dollars, you're not gonna find that because uh, alpaca meat is a little bit expensive than other things. So not a little bit, more, <laughs> much. <laughs> also, in Chile, in some part, you can also find it in Bolivia and also in the U.S. They started to. So you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this alpaca episode. If you come across one, make sure you hit it up because I think it's pretty nice and it's quite a unique experience. I myself like it a lot because first I know that it's good for health so alpaca is healthy so I know that it's gonna be healthy like for me also and at the same time it just wow. it's just cool cool to eat alpaca. Alright you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. You have to do this. <laughs> Let me ask my friend over here what country? <laughs> what, what country are we in? Hey, what country? What country are we in? <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> way! <laughs> I won't say that. Where? <laughs> oh, we are in Peru. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best one ever. <laughs>